In this question, we are told that the area of the top triangle, which is ABC, is 60. The final question wants us to determine the area of BCD. So we start off in the triangle where the question relates to. So it says the area of BCD. So we try work in that triangle. But unfortunately, we don't have enough information there. So we move to the other triangle, which is the one at the top. And we know that the area there is 60. Furthermore, it's a 90 degree triangle, so we can just use half base times height for the area, and we know that that should equal to 60. So we don't know what the base length is, that's BC, but the height we can see is 10. And so half, of, half times by 10, well that's just 5, and then we can get BC alone by just dividing by 5, and so BC has a length of 12. So now we can work in the bottom triangle, now we know that area is equal to the following, and the way it works is that you, you, you need some type of angle, so let's say for example we use the 30 degree, but then you need the two sides next to that angle, so you've, you, need the two, you need the two sides on either side, so it would be the 12 and it would be this one. But we, so we have information that is missing, and so we're going to have to use the cos or sine rule to try find some more information. So the sine rule goes like this, is all about opposites. So we've got the 30 degree being opposite to the 8 and then the 12 is opposite to the D. So that's fine, we'll just call that equal to X for example. And so there we have opposites and we only have one unknown which is X. And so the sine rule means the following. So this will be the side, that'll be one side, this will be a second side, and this will be the angle opposite the first side, so we'll call that angle one. And this will be the angle opposite the second side, so we'll call that angle number two. So I'm going to start off with side one, which is eight, over the sin of angle one, which is the sin of 30, because they opposite each other. Then we're going to say 12 over the sin of x, okay, because that's this one over here. Then we said in previous videos that whenever this happens, you are allowed to flip both of these over so that you can get the x at the top. And so that would give you sin 30 over 8 equals to sin x over 12. To get x alone, you would then times both sides by 12 because what you do to the one side, you do to the other. And so we end up with sin x equals to 12 times by the sin of 30 divided by 8. And so if you had to type all of that in on the calculator, you'd end up with sin x equals to 0 0.75. And then to get x alone, you would have to say shift sin of 0 0.75, which would give you 48.59 degrees. And now whenever we're busy with the sine rule, we should always remember the ambiguous case. So sin equals to 0 0.75. Well, sin is positive in quadrant number one, and if what I'm saying right now makes no sense, then please watch the earlier videos on in, the, in this chapter that covers the ambiguous case of sin. Well, in quadrant number two, you would have to say that x is equal to 180 minus 48.59, and that gives us 131 0.41 degrees. Now 131.41 degrees would actually fit on this diagram because if this is 131 then angle B and D together adds up to 161 and so there would still be space for angle C. So if this ever had to happen in a test, which I highly doubt, they don't usually do this too much in a test, then you would have to give answers for both scenarios. But for this video we're just going to look at the first scenario where the answer for D is 48.59 degrees. And so the two sides that we have in this bottom triangle is this one and this one. So to use this, the area rule, you need two sides and you need the angle in between. So we would need this angle over here. But that's easy now because we already have the other two angles. So we could say that angle C is equal to 180 minus 30 minus 48.59. And the reason for that is the sum of angles in a triangle. And so angle C would be equal to 101.41 degrees. And so eventually we can use the area rule for BCD. And so we can say that the area of BCD is equal to a half times by 8 times by 12 times by the sin of 101.41. So remember, it's the two sides and the angle in between those two sides that you need to use.
And so if you do all of that on the calculator, you're going to end up with a final answer for that area as 47.05.